Hey Bears, I am the Gaming Grizzly and welcome back to Identity 5 and welcome back to the evolution of Identity 5. And today I want to talk a little bit about the evolution of the Explorer right here. If you want to see the evolution or at least the old version of other characters like the Ripper, the Soul Weaver, the Gardener and much more, make sure to check out the description. I will leave the links to more evolution videos down there. And before we jump right into the gameplay of the Explorer right here, make sure to leave a fat like to support this channel. It really means the world to me. And of course, leave me a comment in the comment section below what you think about the old Explorer. Share this video with all of your friends. And if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date to Identity 5, make sure to subscribe to the Gaming Grizzly. Alright, alright, alright. Let's talk about the gameplay right here. And what we can see is that the explorer actually opened up a box and changed his magic book to the freaking gardener's toolbox. So now we can't really talk about his ability, but hey, we are going to watch this gameplay anyway. Because there are still a few things that are different to the new version. For example, right here we can see that the item box was actually glowing in a pinkish color, but nowadays it is glowing in a greenish color. And the item box in general just looks a lot different. And if we take a look at the gameplay right here, we can see that the survivors are fighting against Check the Ripper right here and there is one survivor already downed. But Check the Ripper seems to camp this survivor. Alright, so this news was dismantled and now the explorer is going for the next item box and just look at it. It just looks a little bit different. I mean nowadays the item boxes are red instead of just grey. Okay, so let's see what item the explorer is getting from this box. And he got the magic wand from the magician. Alright, so at least we're gonna see a few different items in this gameplay, which is actually pretty nice. We can see that he tries to go for the rescue, trying to help his teammates. Or is he? No, it seems like he is trying to get away right now because all the teammates are free and they are just running away, but no! Check the Ripper just knocked down another survivor again right here and let's see what the explorer is doing. He is running towards the... oh my god, he's running towards Check the Ripper and we can see Check just carrying around the lawyer. Oh my god, this is so brutal. I really like the old animations. Look at this, Check the Ripper has problems to bring this survivor to a noose. But, oh, whoa, very nice move of the explorer right here, rescuing the lawyer by putting down the pallet right when the ripper was going through it. That wasn't too bad. Okay, and now the explorer is hiding, trying to stay on a low profile and I'm quite excited to see how this game will end. Because what we can see right now is that the survivors already decoded one cypher machine, but Check the Ripper is also playing pretty good. I mean, right now no survivor is on a noose, but hey, it seems like Check the Ripper is doing a pretty good job because he already hit all of the other survivors. And now there is another survivor knocked out and we can see the explorers going down into the basement, opening up this box and just look at this. Isn't it crazy that in the old version there were lucky guys down in the basement, locked up in the cages and begging for help. I mean the nooses are already scary but just look at the lucky guys, holy heck. Alright so the explorer found the doctor's syringe but he is not using it. I mean he has no use to heal himself because he is in perfect condition and now I think, I think, what is he, what is he doing? Okay the ripper saw him, the ripper knows where the explorer is right now and he's just warding the window. Probably he just wants to get the attention of Jack the Ripper so everyone else can help the guy on the news. But I'm not really sure what he is doing because now he is trying to avoid the attention of the Ripper. Hmm. Alright, so it seems like he is going to rescue his teammate right here. But Jack the Ripper seems to face camp. Oh no no, this looks bad. This looks really bad for the survivors right here. One survivor is down, one survivor is on the noose and he's going to rescue... Oh, no, what? What was that? He actually helped... Yeah, he rescued the guy on the noose. I was a little bit confused right here. But this just looks extremely bad for the survivors because there is again another survivor on the noose right now. The explorer is going in. The explorer is going in to rescue him. But, yeah. 
Alright, Check the Ripper is camping. Everyone knows it that they are campers and it, it's not like camping is a new thing. They were even camping in the old version of the game. But let's see if the explorer can actually rescue his teammate right here. He has the magic wand, he could easily use the magic wand, but he isn't... I don't know, he's not really playing with the items. Come on, come on, go in. He's going in. Alright, there we go. He used his magic wand and he got terror shock. Why was he using the magic wand back there? Holy heck. Alright, alright, that's completely insane what he just did right here. He deserved to get the terror shock. And what we can see right now is as soon as you got knocked out, there are hands, shadow hands coming from the floor and it really looks spooky, it really looks scary. I mean, I really like it. I really like the scary theme, the scary atmosphere of this game back then. But hey, alright, there we go. There's the first survivor who actually got sent back to the manor. I don't know if they got sent back to the manor back then. I mean, they're on the freaking noose. And now Jack the Ripper is carrying, dragging around the explorer to his noose. But maybe, maybe the explorer can escape. It actually seems pretty good. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm so happy for the explorer right now. He's running away because he struggled free. That's not too bad. Let's see if he can survive this. Let's see if Jack the Ripper is... Oh my god, it seems like... Yep, yep, he, he just escaped from Jack the Ripper. That was not too bad. Actually, that was pretty good. So there is still a chance for the survivor to win this match. But I don't really know what they are doing. They are not really decoding the machines. It seems like they don't really understand that they have to decode the machine. Look at the explorer right here. There was a machine. There was a freaking cypher machine. And he's just running around headlessly. What? What is your... What is your plan right here, little explorer? Alright, finally he found the cypher machine and started to decode the cypher machine. But sadly another survivor was sent back to the manor. So now there are only two survivors left and they still have to decode four cypher machines. I just had to cut a little bit out because I just watched the freaking explorer walking around for like three minutes doing nothing. Alright, now he messed up the decalibration of the cypher machine. Check the ripper is coming for him, he's invisible. Okay, alright, alright, he put the pellet pretty well, but he needs to get away from there. He's just waiting there, come on, what? oh my god. Little explorer, what are you doing? Little explorer, do you want to die? Little explorer, tell me your secrets. Little explorer, don't tell a lie. Oh my god, what am I, what am I even doing? Look at this, check the ripper just just ran away. Okay, Explorer, just start decoding again, please. Yep, there he goes. He starts to decode again. Actually, I don't really know what the hunter was just doing. Okay, the other survivor got hit once. It seems really, really bad for the survivors right now because if Jack the Ripper is hunting down the other survivor and actually bringing the other survivor to a noose, that's it for the game. I mean, the survivors can only go for a tie at the moment. They can't even win this game anymore. But hey, let's see if they're, let's see if they're able to get the tie or if they will lose. Okay, so it actually seems pretty good. I really have the hope that the survivors will win this match because they now only need three more cipher machines, and the explorer is doing a pretty good job right here. No. He messed up the calibration, the hunter is coming right for him. There's no chance he is getting away from this. Nope! He tried to get through this little path right here, putting down the pallet, but no, 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 the ripper was faster. Oh my god, I had the hope that they would actually win this match, but it seems like that's it for the survivors right here. It seems like that's it for the explorer, to be honest. I don't really think that they will come back from this. Look at this. The explorer is on the noose everybody and I don't think that the survivors will actually recover from this. I think that's it. The hunter won. Check the ripper won this match. So I will just end this video. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, please support my channel by leaving a fat like and of course make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below what you think about the old explorer or the old game in general. Of course, if you want to watch more old gameplay footage, make sure to check my my evolution videos on my channel. I also made a playlist. I will leave the links in the description below and share this video with all of your friends. If you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date about Identity 5, make sure to subscribe to the gaming Christy. I hope you all have a great day and see you all in the next video.
Bye-bye.